weird. Get in. Yeah, I thought it was. So I'll just start beeping when I'm not in the beeping spot. Huh? I forgot what I was saying. No regret. No regret. Can you make that go up and make it beep again, please? Brandon. Brandon. Okay. Can you make it? Can you make it go up, please, Brandon? So that's going down. You make it go up, please. That's it, Brandon. You just did it then. Not point four. Well done, Brandon. You do it some more. I've heard that, that lot down there, I've no charge, I've got to go down the darkness. Ornament. Ornament. What do you mean, like a, a doll? Angel. Angel. Can you tell me now? Which angel is it? Um, you know the three, obviously an amber that's not going to change that. What I'm going to do is put it into the box. That gets Bloody. Bloody. You can tell me a bit more in this if you want. Trapped. Trapped? Are you trapped, yeah. Who is it? What's your name? Tell me your name. So I'm buzzing that one. Right, it's time to go now. Whoever's listening. What brought you here? I'll speak to you, to communicate with you. And see if you can um see if you can understand more about um Arthur. Where I'm going now, yeah. You won't really say much now, will you? I hear you. Oh, I bet you can. What brought you here? I to speak to you. I came to see you. Arthur, I need to know what year you think it is. Madison. Um, to another the video, so we're just on our way to see half of the doll. Um, so I can try to use, uh, try to look at the new equipment that I've got to, to understand more if it actually is a doll, which I'm more than convinced that it is anyway. But it'll just let me know more about the energy. So usually, what happens is the K2 really goes yellow, and it stays at yellow, uh, which is like 15 milligauss. So. I need to know if there's any electrons under the floor, and if there isn't, then it's definitely a doll. So the equipment lets me, you know, it'll, it'll tell me more anyway. So the doll's just appear. We're on Dice Lane at the minute. Looks lovely in the day, it's a lovely walk, or whatever. And uh, the piece of equipment's this. It's a KKM825, which should tell us what we need to know. So I'll uh, I'll cut to the tube as we approach the doll. Right, let's take one. So that's on zero now. Everything's on zero, which is all good. No words. So the doll's like literally a hundred yards away. So I'm only coming to this because I got a doll yesterday. I don't know if it's related.
So what we're after is um, zero, no electrons at milligauss, so electrons must be at zero and the milligauss is... Close. Close. Yeah, I'm close, yeah. I am close, actually. Anyway, so I was saying, the milligauss has got to be on. We've got to be going up without any electrons. It's me. That's a brush. Half a... Street. Street. We are on the street, yeah. About right here, yeah. It's going up now. <sighs> That's it, yeah. No electrons. And it's beeping. Yeah? That's telling me. It's telling me there's a high field under the floor, which I need to know what year you think it is. Madison. Arthur, it's me, Basil Brush. <coughs> That's beeping all over here. Look at that. 7.4. Wow, that's 10 milligus. It's definitely like right more or less so where the puddle is. We tried to talk through the puddle before but it never worked out. And then it just fades off as it goes over there. Back to this again here. It says high field warning. So it's telling you there's obviously high. How are you? How are you? I'm alright, Arthur. How are you? I take one on the box. Uh... Arthur. <laughs> train, train tracks only up there. Arthur, can you leave your voice some more, please? That's beeping again. getting bigger over here. Now, this is an old mine so I wouldn't rule out something being underground um, if it's not the doll but I really think that it is. It's all in here, isn't it? So my reader's beeping because it's telling me there's an energy source that's not electric but it also holds radiation. Uh... Arthur, do you want to come and leave your voice? you want to tell me something? So it's, as, I, as I anticipated, that um, you'd have, obviously, high milligauss and no electrons. And that's what happened to an attachment if it was in a doll. When you have haunted dolls. Now what's interesting, if we got a proper doll and I can put this to it, see how much it's measuring. Because I think we've got over 10. Right, the wind's coming. Back. Yeah, I'm back, yeah. Right, the... Uh, Well, it is wind, yeah, so I've had to have had to walk back because of the wind, but I just came down here just to have a look. And medicine. Medicine, and it's 1.34, and that's radiation. It's telling you it's high, that it, obviously it's high, and that's why my files keep getting destroyed. Here comes the train. Can you just hear it beeping away? So it stops probably around about here. But it's really strange that how, how this is really the only Patient. puddle. Patient. Patient. Sorry. On this road, yeah, this is the only... There's one. There's more puddles up there, yeah, but they're further up. But this is the only the only puddle to have uh, radiation and milligauss coming out of it. Anyway, I've done videos here before. That's weird. Hidden.
Yeah, I thought it was. So that'll just start beeping when I'm not in the beeping spot. I forgot what I was saying. No though. regret. No regret. Can you make that go up and make it beep again, please? Brandon. Brandon. Okay. Can you make it can you make it go up, please, Brandon? So that's going down. Can you make it go up, please? That's it, Brandon. You just did it then. Not point four. Well done, Brandon. You do it tomorrow. Wow. Wow, not point five. Thank you, Brandon. Can you make it beep? If you can make it beep, that's great. Well done, Brandon. That's fantastic that. Well done. Not point five at the minute. And there's this interactions there, see. Is that you, Brandon? There's interactions there when the milligrams is changing, it's at zero now. Can you make it go up again, please? Thank you, Brandon. 0.2 Thank you So obviously the pressing device and that I think it So my arm can't usually map in Thank you Brandon I've got 2 milligrams now So I've just been recording the whole time and it's just changing so it's gone from zero to two. Two point two. I'm getting more touches again by the looks of it. Can you make it go a bit higher please, Brandon? Two point four then. Well, it's just gone off. Just that sometimes. So that will beep in them, but we, we know it beeps here anyway. So I remember being here once, yeah. I had the book here, and I flipped it round, and there was like an evil face. You just say that's the structure mapping, and it was like an evil face, yeah, round here. And I thought it was a brick, but after looking after after looking back, there's no way it could have been a brick. So that's that video done now. It's just what I suspected, really. So I came down here just to obviously see, um, to see if it was right, and it was. So, one second. So anyway, this is the oldest lane in Rochdale. Um, <laughs> it's Macarana Day at night time. There's many places that are. So anyway, I just thought I'd do this video because it's like an experiment really, just to see if what I thought was true and whether I've been talking to the floor and whether there was something actually in there and there wasn't. Well, it goes to show that there is. Um, so yeah, it's, it, <clears throat> I can only imagine. What I know out that story yeah, is someone called Jason buried, buried Arthur. Yeah, and obviously Arthur's a doll. Um, he would have buried him because it was evil, and that's what you would do, right? You would. That's what you kind of. If you think about it now, yeah. If you had a haunted doll, and you didn't know what to do with it, and it was causing you bother, you'd either destroy it, burn it, or bury it. Now, yeah. If you're going to bury something, so sooner or later someone's going to find it. Anyway, um, I didn't want to make this tip video too long. I just wanted to go down there and make sure, like, that was right, kind of thing. Anyway, um, it's just a day video really, so stay for now, and uh, see you in the next one, it's going to be night time anyway, next one, peace.
this and it's uh it's obviously it's obviously we've had many interactions before so i thought i'd just do this live as i walk down to the um, as i walk down to the doll so i'm just going to show you like the the oldest the oldest lane in rochdale so i'll just i'll nip the camera forward now yeah so you can see but i just thought i'd just do this first little like interaction first so just let me just try and find the uh the flip button so you can see uh one second uh right flip camera <coughs> so this is the oldest lane in rochdale list so there's a mine i think this i'll show you the mines in a minute it's the old textile stuff there used to be an old community there used to be an old community there you go. here come the dogs hello hello what are you doing hello hello beautiful are you huh? hello i've got time for some dogs in a live feed beautiful are you See you later. So that that fence is here, yeah. I'll just show you.